Now let's say a few words about expressions as arguments. And we have been writing various arithmetic expressions and we have just written them at the interactive prompt. And when we hit return, the interpreter evaluates that expression, generates the new data, and in the interactive environment, that new data value is echoed back to us. So for example, we've been writing expressions like 5 plus 7, the sum of two integers. And when we hit return, we see that that expression generated the data 12. But we can write expressions as arguments of functions. So let's go with print maybe 6 plus 8. And now when we hit return, before anything is passed to the print function, that expression is evaluated. So 6 plus 8 is 14. That'll be passed to the print function. And we see the value 14, which is the data that was produced by this particular expression. So let's try another example. Let's call the type function this time and let's pass to it the argument of 7 plus 9.0. We just want to check what is the type produced by that expression. And we see that that is a float and that's because 7 plus 9.0 when we have the sum of an integer and a float the result will be 16, but it's a float value of 16. Now up above I wrote print 6 plus 8. Now the question is, why would you ever want to write the print function? Why not just write 6 plus 8? Well, again, we get 14 here, but recall that when we run code from a program, not in the interactive environment, we only obtain output that we explicitly request. We discussed this behavior before, but let's go ahead and demonstrate it again. So I will open a new window within idle using the keyboard shortcut, either control and on a Windows machine or command and on a Mac. This brings up this new untitled window without the interactive prompt in it. And let's put the expression 5 plus 7. And then on the next line, print 6 plus 8. And that's it for the commands that I'll enter in this window. Now we need to save it. So either Control S or Command S is the keyboard shortcut. I'll hit Control or Command S here. The save window pops up. I will enter a file name of test1.py. So our file name should end with .py for Python. I'll just click return, which will save the file. Now I can run it by hitting the function key F5. So the interpreter at that point will interpret the expressions in this saved file. So I'll do that now. And we get the restart announcement back in the Python shell. And we see the output of 14, which corresponds to that print statement. But we don't see the value of 12, which was produced by 5 plus 7, that other expression in the file. The interpreter generated that data, but then nothing was done with it. So just remember, when writing a program, you have to explicitly call the print function to obtain any desired output.